as a Southern Baptist that wow. grew up reading the Bible, maybe a backslidden Baptist, but I still know the Bible. Jesus never once talked about abortion, never once. And it was happening back in ancient times. It was happening during his time. Never once mentioned it. And for people perverting the gospel of Jesus Christ down to one issue, it's heresy. Go, if you don't believe me, if that makes you angry, why don't you do something you haven't done in a long time? Open the Bible, open the New Testament, read the red letters, you won't see it there. In this video, MSNBC host Joe Scarborough tries to correct pro-life Christians by appealing to something Jesus supposedly did not say. Here's his logic. If Jesus didn't mention abortion, then it didn't matter to him. And if it didn't matter to him, then it shouldn't matter to you. All right, let's pull out the red pen and make some corrections. First, let's assume Joe is right and Jesus never said anything about abortion. What follows from that? The simple answer is nothing. Think about it. What did Jesus say about slavery or child sacrifice or spousal abuse? Well, nothing that we know of. Should we take his silence on these issues to mean that they didn't matter to him? Of course not. So even if Jesus didn't say anything about abortion, nothing follows. Joe is offering a textbook example of an argument from silence, trying to conclude what someone did believe from what they didn't say. Jesus' silence is not approval. Second, we do know Jesus had a high view of scripture. He referred to it as the word of God that cannot be broken. That's why he constantly refuted his opponents by appealing to the authority of his scriptures, what we call the Old Testament. Implicit in Joe's rant is the presumption that Jesus' words, or lack thereof, are more authoritative than the rest of scripture. While it's true that Jesus gave the red letters, the Holy Spirit gave the black letters, and Jesus and the Holy Spirit we're on the same page. So all scripture is God's word, not just the red letters. And that includes this passage from Psalm 139. For you formed my inward parts, you knitted me together in my mother's womb. Notice that according to this passage, the psalmist was himself even before he was born. So in light of Jesus' explicit affirmation of the scriptures, we know what he believed about the unborn. The same thing the psalmist affirmed, that we exist in the womb as ourselves before we are born. Third, Christians have always been against abortion. This isn't new. For example, in the Didache, written in the first century, it says, you shall not procure an abortion nor destroy a newborn child. So since the very beginning of Christianity, the church has openly condemned the killing of children, both born and unborn.